56, and you can trade. Uh, and parallel resonating circuit is the next one. First, we should know what does resonating circuit mean. In a resonating circuit, there is an electric current or electrical energy oscillating between the capacitor and inductor like this. It's a parallel resonating circuit, R, L, C, R, connected in parallel, but there is a current continues to uh, moving between the C and L like this, oscillating. It's not going somewhere else, just between L and L, C, between C and L. It's going back and forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. It's called resonating. It's called oscillating circuit. But there's a condition for electric current to be oscillate between S, C, and L. This condition is this. If I C and I L are equal, these two currents are equal, resonance and oscillation takes between the C and L take place. So I will start with this one. Yes, ministry exam question. Which of the following is condition for resonance, resonance in RLC parallel circuit? IC is equal to IL. IC is equal to IL. I will start with this. So if IC is equal to IL, what does it mean? This term becomes zero. So only our IR remains. A square root of the IR squared gets only IR. Yani total current is, becomes minimum because this term becomes zero. This total current gets to minimum value. Then minister exam question can be asked like this. In parallel resonating circuit, total current is minimum or maximum? Minimum. Why? Because I C and I L are equal. So this term is zero. That's why I total becomes minimum. And I total is equal to only R, I R. It is logical because uh, the current, a current is uh, continuously oscillating between L and C. L and C does not get any more current from the generator. Generator only gives current to the resistor, which is I total only. IR. It's logical too. I mean, if this two does not take a current, uh, if you use uh, the same current oscillating between C and L, so then only device generator supplies the current is going to be this resistor. So I total is going to be only IR. And I will continue with the second one. According to the phase angle equation for a parallel circuit, I C minus I L over I R is the phase angle difference. Because these two are equal, their subtraction is zero, which means phase, there is no phase difference between electric current potential difference. So there is no phase angle difference between electric current and potential difference. Theta is zero. Don't forget this. All resonating circuits, theta is zero. Theta is zero. Second important property of parallel resonating circuit. And third one, if IL is equal to IC, which means V over XL is equal to V over XC, simplify this, which means XL over XC. Evet, bu da çok sorulan bir soru. This is many times asked ministry exam question. For a resonating circuit, for resonance, one of the conditions is what? XL must be equal to XC. Yani inductive impedance of the coil, must be equal to capacitive impedance of the capacitor, XL is equal to XC. Third important property of parallel resonating circuit. And fifth, because XL is equal to XC, so, uh, sorry, let's get from this part. Uh, we know that I total is equal to V divided by Z, V or V is the same for all of them, Z of the system. I total is V over Z. Because we know that total electric current is minimum, this must be minimum. Because V is constant, which which is only, which is the uh, potential difference of the uh, generator, it does not change if you don't change the propeller generator. So if it's constant, so Z must be maximum. Total impedance is maximum in parallel generating circuit. Let me take that I total is minimum, we got it from here, minimum. So this constant is only only. If you want it is minimum, Z must be maximum. That's why the parallel circuit total impedance is maximum value, maximum value. And last one. According to Z is equal to R squared plus one X minus one X L. Because the energy is zero. You see it is equal to Z. And total impedance Z is only equal to resistance of the circuit. X and XL cancels each other because they are equal. So these five properties are very, very important. 
They are asking short questions about this table. Okay. Any questions about this? Kaç kaldı? Omega şeyle alakalı. Bu da antik slide. Önce burayı bir şey yapalım biz. Burada bir var mı? Any questions about this part? Okay, one more thing I have to say. In your book, parallel resonating circuit is explained. Uh, in fact, not in detail, but actually in detail. Um, it also, it's a series resonating circuit. Series resonating circuit, but it is not explained in your book. Even figure is not given. But they ask questions about series resonating circuit two. Şimdi ben size bir şey göstereceğim. In parallel resonating circuits and series resonating circuit, three of them are the same. Only two are different. Two things are different. Ha, how is uh, takes a little longer time and it's not explained in the book. That's why I'm not going to explain how part. But if you are dealing in uh, spatially, want to learn, maybe I can explain later. But now, first, the first one is in parallel resonating circuit, total electric current is minimum. But if it is in series resonating circuit, it is maximum. This is opposite. Currents are opposite. Second, same. In parallel or series resonating circuit, theta, phase angle difference is zero. Both of them, zero. Third, same. In series or parallel resonating circuit, XL is equal to XC, common. XL is equal to XC. Fourth, this is opposite. This is opposite because first one is opposite, fifth one is related to first one, also opposite. So in parallel resonating circuit, total impedance is maximum, but in series, it is minimum. Fifth one is the same because XL is XC is equal to XL, so R is equal to Z. Yani second one, third one, fifth one, same in both parallel and series, but first and fourth are opposite. So keep it in your mind in the case they ask about the series resonating circuit two. Any questions about this part? Teacher, just one question. In series, I total is not equal to IR. In series, I total is equal to? Is not yes, equal to I, IR. I, I, uh, I total is equal to, no. In series, we are not dealing with I because in series, I is constant. We deal with V. Yeah. There is difference between parallel and reson series resonating circuit, but series is not explained in your book for that. Reason, I'm not going to explain that, but if you, want to learn maybe we have time uh, then later we can explain i can explain to you okay thank you their logics are different i mean that's why i, sh I shouldn't explain it but know that third one second one third one fifth one are the same both in series and parallel but first and second is opposite in series and parallel third and third uh, uh, first and third, fourth yeah maximum Ha, uh, series de hayır tam tersi olacak. V total minimum oluyor. Current'la şey yer değiştiriyor bunlarda. Yani Seriz de e, bir de bir elin burnunu yazacağız. Ama ben onunla girmiştim. Sen bunu sadece şeyden ha, öğren. Ayrıca öğrenmek için zaman atıyorum. Çünkü ben bunu hiç bahsedemiyorum. Parallel Series Resonating Circuit'e bahsedemiyor. Ama kısaca anlatabiliriz isterseniz. Kiliyle. Okay and this one. The same for both series and parallel. In the circuit there is an electron energy between passive inductor. But an XL equal XC both in AC parallel in CCI. XL equal for both CS and parallel in circuit. For that reason, I write XL omega and XC over omega C. If I cross like it, omega times like omega squared, if I get L here over LC, then after the top square of the equation both sides, you will get the angle frequency of the oscillation. Man, how is it? Electric current is oscillating between the positive and uh, inactive degrees omega representing that. Faster or slower? So, this is in, uh, in this as well. So, same equation, everything is in parallel. And this is the equation, but we're not going to improve this equation. I'll go further in the next Any question? And oscillating circuit. Anyways, as my this oscillating circuit is a resonating circuit, which I explained. But but this, this title is separated in your book. That's why I'm going to explain it again. Uh, because talking about uh, some different things uh, than the previous one. First, you should know that uh, the oscillating circuit, this oscillating circuit consists of a coil and a capacitor. So it is made of an uh, inductor and a capacitor. Inductor has a constant inductive impedance L, but capacitor is variable. This is this sign is representing you can change capacitance of this capacitor. C can change. But what how what does oscillating circuit means? 
Now, of course, um, again, as I explained, there's an electric current and energy oscillating between the capacitor and inductor. It's the same I explained in parallel resonating circuit. Um, but first, you should give some energy to system. If you want to add energy to a system, you can add energy to only one component, which is capacitor. Capacitors are very important for that reason. Capacitor stores the electrical energy. You can keep energy to the capacitor. You can add energy to a capacitor. Capacitors are, for that reason, vital for an electronic uh, system. So this capacitor is charged by a battery. How we charge, I explained maybe uh, in the chapter six. When you attach positive terminal of a battery to one plate, negative terminal of the battery to another plate, so one plate becomes positive, other plate becomes negative. Then from positively plate to negative plate, there is electric field is formed. And we say that electric field is energy is stored in a capacitor in the form of electric field. This electric field stores the electrical energy in this capacitor. So Electric field is formed between the plates. This electric field stores electrical energy. Şöyle bir soru olabilir mi? In a capacitor, uh, energy stored in the form of A, magnetic field, B, electric field, C, gravitational field, D, none of them. Olabilir. In a capacitor, energy is stored in the form of electric field. But when you charge this capacitor and attach to a coil, uh, between the ends of this capacitor, this capacitor starts discharging. This charge, negative charge goes to the positive uh, or electric current flows from positive to negative. So capacitor starts discharging. Discharging means electrons are meeting with the protons or this positive place and then causes an electron. This capacitor starts discharging through the coil, through the coil. So if discharging through the coil, which means there's a current, which provides a current. And if there is a current in a coil, so it produces a magnetic field, we learned this. If you give electric current to a coil, it produces a magnetic field. So the capacitor starts discharging and through the coil and by the time it loses all its energy. Where is this energy now? It is in the coil, of course. So. Is it formed in what field? Magnetic field, because coil forms magnetic field. Capacitor forms electric field. Böyle bir soru olabilir mi? Tabii ki olabilir. So, in an oscillating circuit, um, if capacitor is com completely discharged, energy is stored where? In the coil. In the form of what? Magnetic field. But um, something is extraordinary happens here. When this coil somehow causes this capacitor, this discharge capacitor to be charged again, but in opposite manner. Look at here. Positive, left plate is positive, right plate is negative, but later left becomes negative, right becomes positive. The charge again stored in the capacitor by the coil until the current in the coil drops to zero, all energy, all charges, stored in the capacitor again. So the now energy is stored in the capacitor as electric field again. However, it will discharge again and again and again again. It's called oscillating certain for that reason. Electrical energy continuously will oscillate between the capacitor and inductor. This exchange of energy is repeated many times between the capacitor and the coil. And this is called oscillating circuit. Frequency of the oscillation can be calculated according to one condition. Again, same condition for condition for resonance is what? Inductive impedance of the coil and capacitive impedance of the capacitor must be equal. XL is equal to XC. So omega, we got this before, one over uh, omega squared is equal to, remember, uh, one over L, root of LC. And after that, omega is equal to root, uh, pardon, omega squared is equal to one over LC. Omega gets one over root of one over LC. So omega is equal to two pi F. If you let F alone, you get the frequency of the oscillation between the capacitor of inductor, which is one over two pi root of L. See, this is equation is very important. So many questions that I ask about this. Frequency of the oscillation of the current in the circuit depends on what? L and C. So greater C, less frequency. Greater L, 
less frequency of oscillation and this is uh, and this uh, about the oscillating circuit any questions until now teacher can you please explain again how the capacitor is discharged Capacitor is discharged because nature of the capacitor is to be discharged because this negative and this positive always uh, they start they want to meet each other. This negative wants to fill here, this negative wants to fill there, this negative wants to go there. This is the uh, uh, tendency of elect positive and negative charges they want to meet. So that's why when they are moving like this, they leave their places. So then one. Negative positive zero, negative positive zero, negative positive zero, so discharges completely, but passes through the coil. Okay, thank you. What else? And uh, if you look at this figure, you see that this is a perfect coil. Pure, uh, I mean, the, there is no resistance, but in reality, every coil has resistance if coil has a resistance energy this energy oscillating with the capacitor and inductor is going to be lost by time it will decrease finally this oscillation will stop i will talk about it in the next slide but before that i want to uh, explain something about this equation uh, remember uh, here it was variable capacitor this was variable capacitor, which means you can change C. Bakın buraya, look at here. In this equation, by changing C, you can change frequency of the oscillation. So, oscillating circuit frequency is controlled by variable capacitor. So, you can change the capacitance of the variable capacitor and you can control the frequency of the oscillation of that oscillating circuit. Keep it in your mind. Böyle bir soru olabilir mi? Belki olabilir. How can you change the capacitance, pardon, frequency of oscillation of an oscillating circuit? Yes, general, the general method is to use a, a variable capacitor, yani changing C. And in the book, questions are given in this form. If you decrease C by four, it, if you increase C by four, how, by, fa by what factor F is changing? They are asking like this in the questions in the book. And as I explained, every oscillating circuit has a resistance. And we know that if there's a resistance, there's energy lost. If energy lost, oscillation will stop sometime later. Because every real circuit has some resistance, some part of the electrical energy is lost in resistance by time. Thus, oscillation of the electric current slows down. Slows down is not, good, not a good word, but there is no other explanation. Oscillation uh, amplitude decreases, maybe to say like this better. Oscillation amplitude decreases, and finally, oscillation stops, which is called damping. Maybe you remember this damping from chapter three, section one. Uh, simple pendulum. So when the oscillating simple pendulum or simple uh, or uh, mass spring system loses energy, finally it comes to rest, rest, which is called damping. Damping also possible here because energy is lost by the resistor. So then oscillation stop damping. But you, sh if you want to continue this oscillation, you should use an external oscillate uh, alternating current source. But this source must have the same frequency of the oscillation of this circuit. If this oscillation circuit has a frequency of 50 hertz, this generator must have the same frequency of 50 hertz. Then you can add energy from generator to this oscillating circuit. This lost energy by the resistor can be provided by this uh, generator. If an external AC source of current of same frequency and phase is introduced in an oscillating circuit. Yani if you connect it like this, you can provide energy to the oscillating circuit again. Resonance tends, takes place, which means their frequencies are equal. If two systems have same frequency, it is called resonance. Resonance takes place and energy can be added from generator to this oscillating circuit. And 
by changing the capacitance of the variable capacitor, normally I explain this, resonance frequency can be changed. When you change C, F can be changed. This is how one can tune the frequency of the radio and television stations at home. When resonance take place, reception of the radio signals are possible. Uh, I don't know if you remember or not, old fashioned radios, you are, uh, there was something you are rotating. Normally when you are rotating it, you are changing the capacitance C. This is a simple radio, simple radio. This device is the variable capacitor. When you rotate it, you are changing the capacitance. This is the coil and you can change the frequency of this device. For example, you want to listen 105 megahertz a radio. So you are going to change the uh, capacitance by rotating that thing and you can pick up the signal exactly the same of the radio station and you can start listening that radio. So that's why there is a variable capacitor in a radio, uh, radio emission or uh, pick up signal systems. Anyway, so this is all about the um, uh, oscillating circuit. Any questions about oscillating circuit? Teacher, to change frequency, we only change the capacitor or we can change it is the, the It is the best method. Changing the capacitor is the best method and the easier, practical. Why is it like this? Uh, about 11th grade, maybe you remember there was an equation. Capacitance is equal to area divided by separation between the pl uh, parallel plates. It is easy to change the area of a capacitor so you can change the capacitance. But coil, you cannot change L over coil. It's not so easy for that reason. Changing the coil's inductance L is not a practical way, but capacitance is easy to change. It's practical. Hocam. Evet. Hocam, resonans derken bir şey söylediniz. Frequency will be same diye böyle evet, bir şey. Evet, rezonanslar da böyle. Biz bunu çalıştık ya. Chapter 4, section 3. Resonance means two system must have the same frequency. Which system? One system is oscillating system, oscillating circuit. Second one is generator. These two must have the same frequency. So then you can add energy from generator to this uh, oscillating circuit. Any more questions? Evet, sanırım dersimiz bitti. Çünkü I explain transformers. Hocam sorular yapmayacak mısınız? Ben size gönderdim. Video videoda yoktu. Videoda da olmayan soruları ben yapayım ama burada şimdi onu kom bir şey kurmam lazım. Sen o soruları bana yaza yaz yazmış göndermiş miydin? Gönderdim hocam. Evet vallahi bugün göremedim. Bir daha bakayım ben onları tamam mı? Ama onu şu an yapamam çünkü şu an bilgisayarda anlatıyorum sana. Onu ben ayrıca bir telefonla kaydederim bakarsın Yok. tamam mı? Any more questions? Tamam, tamam. Evet. Then I'm going to uh, stop the meeting. Okay. Thanks for joining. I hope inşallah iyi olmuştur. Yani artık olduğu kadar. Teşekkür ederiz hocam. Evet. Hocam çok sağ olun. Teşekkürler. Yani bu Zoom işe yarıyor mu bu şekilde? Valla hocam çok iyi. Valla iyiydi. O zaman biz hep böyle devam edelim okula gitmiyor. <gülüyor> herkes Hayır sessiz, o kadar değil. Herkes sessiz <gülüyor> duruyor. Ya. Burası, burada güzel bir şey. Kimse konuşmuyor yani. Okulda böyle değil ki. Siz bunu sosturmak için uğraşıyoruz yani. <gülüyor> hani burada burada uh, Muti 